a frontier of freedom torn between sovereignty. His Majesty King George II is very grateful for your support. You do what you want with your own scalp. Do not be telling us what we ought to do with ours. And savagery. It was a war party. That means they're gonna be attacking up and down the frontier. A tale of romance. In my heart, I know, once we're joined, we'll be the most marvelous couple in London. Of rivalry. They hack it out of the wilderness with their own two hands, burying their children along the way. You're defending him because you become infatuated with him. And resistance. Someday I think you and I are gonna have a serious disagreement. <laughs> Oscar winner Daniel Day-Lewis and Madeline Stowe. I will find you. No matter how long it takes, no matter how far. In our Sunday night premiere at 8 on Sky Movies, The Last of the Mohicans. Welcome to the London Top 10. This week, four movies stand their ground while the rest squabble for the high spots. Stay with us for a taste of the movies that matter as we count down the capital's box office hits. The first of those non-movers sits at number 10. It's the Spanish comedy that picked up this year's Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film, Belle Epoque. And there's more comedy at 9, courtesy of the Jamaican Olympic bobsleigh team. Cool Runnings also refuses to move. They're down four places, but the beat rolls on at number 8 with the story of the birth of the Beatles. Backbeat. But looking good at seven is Robert Altman's adaptation of eight short stories and a poem by Raymond Carver. In short, Shortcuts goes up. There's no movement to number six, so let's put the chart on hold and join Willem Dafoe and Miranda Richardson, or Tom and Viv. <laughs> Sitting next to Tom and Viv in this week's London Top Ten are C.S. Lewis and Joy Gresham. It's back to the Dreaming Spires and Richard Attenborough's Shadowlands. This week's London Top Ten sees Hollywood's first major movie about AIDS move up one to four. Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington star in Philadelphia. Highline. You're watching the London Top Ten, which this week sees Bruce Willis strike a bad patch. A new entry last week, now he's down one, but he still remains within striking distance. Taking his place at two and so proving that he really does have nerves of steel is Jeff Bridges, who moves up one place with Fearless. This week's London Top Ten finds Steven Spielberg still reigning supreme at number one. Liam Neeson takes the lead in Schindler's List. So Schindler's List remains the capital's number one movie. To keep in touch, keep an eye out for next week's London Top Ten. You're watching Sky Movies. I'm Dave. And I want to be your TV friend. Weeknights at 11, catch the new face on British television. We want to show you why we're worth your time. The man who stops a nation. It's true. From going <laughs> to sleep. Attention, citizens. Just call him Dave. This man is a gentleman, and I thank you for that. America's most popular late-night host. Take it. Please. Okay. You're insane. Insane? Please don't kill me. Maybe. We're just trying to do an hour of silly television. We want to lighten your load. Unique? Let me have a look at the cards, son. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the bird! It's the kind of thing that if you watch once or twice, you will get it. With an uncanny ability yeah! to make you laugh. Oh, I used to have a tie like this. That's David Letterman on The Late Show, exclusive to Sky One, weeknights at 11. Well, this is great. This is cool. They could be nightmares. They bit me. They could be memories. I want you to go back with me to that night. The night of the full moon. But they changed her life forever. You are not... What? My God, Ian, I'm terrified. No body, no murder. Everything we know is wrong. Where did you get this? On the moors. The legend returns in the new series, She-Wolf of London, Monday at 9 on Sky One.